Hi, welcome to Winnie Palmer Nature Reserve. My name's Angela. And I'm Allison. And I'm Jennifer. And we're at the Winnie Palmer Nature Reserve Honeybee Apiary. An apiary is a fancy word for a collection of beehives. We have five hives in our apiary and each of them can hold 30 to 70,000 honeybees. And we're actually standing in our pollinator garden and honeybees are one kind of pollinator. When we go into the beehive, we wanna make sure we're protected because honeybees will protect their hive, their honey, and their queen. So we wear thick suits made of thick material, a veil to cover our faces and a hat for our head, and long gloves to protect our hands. We also have pretty thick boots on our feet, so we're protected all over when we wanna take a peek into the hive. So friends, we're getting ready to go into the hive and I want to tell you some things to keep you really safe. So I want you to make sure that your hat is squarely on your head because if the veil gets close to your face, the bees can get close to your face. So you want to make sure it stays really far out here and if your hat starts to slip, take your hands and pop it back on your head. Got it? Couple of rules in the hives. Bees are very sensitive to sounds and vibrations. So we want to make sure we keep our voices really, really quiet. You don't really have to whisper, but you want to talk quietly and you don't want to make any fast movements because fast movements put bees on alarm mode and then they think, what's going on? So you want to be really, really slow and stand really nice and still. Bees will land on you. Don't be afraid. They're not wanting to hurt you. They just want to see what you are and they are very friendly bees. Ours are really calm and we're going to be really quiet so we're not going to get them all excited. So the next thing I want you to know is the hives we're going to walk in together and there's a front of the hive where the bees come and go and that's how they collect their pollen and their nectar. I don't want you to walk in front of them. I want you to stay to the sides and only come forward when I say to. Got it? Okay so a couple of things. We have a smoker and a smoker covers what's called the pheromones and that's the scent that the bees let off to let the other bees know that somebody's in the hive and something is going on. So we spray the smoke to cover that smell so the bees stay calm. We don't want to use too much smoke because sometimes it makes them think their house is on fire and they start drinking up all their honey. So we want to make sure that we only use a little bit. So we're going to light the smoker. So the first thing we want to do is take some paper and we want to crumple it up and put it into the, the smoker. We don't want to push it all the way down. And then we'll light the paper. I'm going to leave a little tail sticking up. Wrong way. Woo. I'm going to light this paper just to get it going. And once it starts to burn a little bit, we're going to let it start burning down in there. And as it starts to burn, we're going to push it down in there just a little bit. We don't want it to go out. And we're going to start pumping. This is called the bellows. And that brings oxygen in. And that helps the fire to get going. So we just want to push it down gradually. And as the paper starts to burn up, you can see it down there, we're going to take a little bit of pine needles. And you can use all kinds of things to start a smoker. But we want the smoke it's going to get, excuse me, really smoky, like a campfire. We want the smoke to be very cool and not hot. And pine needles burn very cool. And they also smolder for a really long time. So you want to put enough in here that you can keep the smoker going while you're in the hive. Oh, that's smoky. It is smoky. You might want to come over on this side. This side is Yeah, there you go. Okay, so I'm going to keep, as long as this doesn't go out, I'm going to keep putting pine needles in it. I don't want to put too many. It's tricky. You have to play with it until you learn to get it just right. And you want to do this right before you go in the hive. And it looks like it's going pretty good there. Now if it goes out, you don't have to panic. I don't like to use a lot of smoke. Just want to have it just in case. 
and it's always a good idea to test how hot your smoke is and it's very cool you can't feel any heat at all lastly we're going to take some tools in with us we're going to take a hive tool and what this does is help us move the bars around so that we don't disturb the bees too too much and then we're going to take this brush because we not, might need to gently brush bees out of the way so these are really the only two things that you need and then of course if you're going to take a little honey you'll want to take your bucket or your bin in with you and have all that with you when you go in. But one more thing I forgot, you might want to take your lighter in case your smoker goes out so you can relight it right there. And every now and then, in case I forget to say this, you'll want to puff your smoker as you're working. Don't sit it down and just forget about it. When you see it, reach over and give it a couple of puffs. And if you have two of you, one being in charge of the smoker is a good idea. So now we're going to get ready. We're going to put our veils up and put our gloves on and we're going to get ready to go into the hive. Everybody ready? So we're here at one of our hives in our apiary, and this is what's called a top bar hive. So Jen is smoking them to keep the bees calm, and we're gonna open it up. Just gonna give them a little welcome puff, just to kinda let them know I'm here and everything's calm, and you'll see there's some bees flying around. And that's because this morning, they're already foraging, they're already out looking to see what is going on in the flower world. And they're telling, coming back and telling their sisters, oh, this is what's out there. Sometimes we open this and there's a mouse, so nobody yell. Nope, we're good. We're just gonna lift this top off. And if we take a look, you can see why it's called a top bar hive, because we have a little trough on the bottom and it's covered by these wooden bars on top. Just gonna give them a little bit of smoke here. There's some coming out the back and I'm just gonna be very gentle about it. So in a hive, normally, most of the bees will start building their comb at the front and then as they fill a bar, they'll start moving toward the back. So normally, all the honey is in the back and then the brood, which is the babies, are in the front. So we're gonna start opening these hives at the back and you'll get a bird's eye view being close to the ground there. And I'm gonna use my hive tool to do that. If you look here, you'll see a sticky brown glue and that's called propolis. And bees go out and they harvest this propolis from plants and flowers. And it's, they use it for medicine to heal the bees in the hive and they use it to seal up any holes where they think that intruders might get in and it's really sticky. You see that? Sticky brown goo. And I'm just cutting through that with my hive tool just so that I can take this bar loose. And you usually only have to do this the first time you go in it after the winter. After the summer, they don't really need to seal everything up because they like their air circulation. So I'm being really gentle. And you see, they're very calm. They're just moving along like, what are you doing? Just gonna gently pull it along. It is super sticky, more than usual. The bees don't that, come out that side. Are they coming out the side? Look at, look at all yeah, that bees. They only come out this side. They want to know what's side. going on, don't they? Look at all that bees. So I'm going to take this one out, and surprise, there's nothing there. But you can see where there used to be comb. Come on. And the bees are just saying hello. and asking us what in the world we're doing to their home. Are they getting around your head? Do you yeah. hear them? And it's okay, right? So if we take a look at the bees that are coming in and out of the hive, you can see a couple, like this girl right here, on the back of her legs are bright yellow spots. And those spots are actually pollen on her pollen sac. So she goes out to the flower, collects that pollen and nectar, and they're right here on her back legs. And that's what she brings back to the hive. So in a top bar hive, I don't necessarily take out every single bar because essentially you're tearing their home apart. I don't know if you can smell that. Can you smell the banana smell? You can't smell it? I might just be accustomed to, to smelling it. It's faint. 
So I don't necessarily take them all out. I take a few out to give me some room. And then I kind of like to keep these together so they don't feel like their whole home is open and exposed. And I don't necessarily need to check every single bar when I check this. I might just check like the back and then the middle and I try not to go in the front unless I suspect there's a problem or I'm looking for the queen. So I wanna show you this. And when we lift top bar hives, we turn them like this and then look away and you want them to go back in the same way every time. And so what we're looking at here on your side, you see the really light yellow color, mm -hmm. that's honey. That's capped honey. Ooh, mm. I want to eat some of that. Right? <laughs> that looks good. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to see there's no eggs in here. There's no babies. And what we see is mostly workers. Do you see a big fat bee? Yeah. Who do you think? That's a drone. That's a drone. That's what I was going to say. It's a big fat bee that's eyes are touching. Do you see the big fat ones that look like barrels? They're not long and skinny. Those are the boys. Those are the drones. Who are the boys? Can you pick one out, Mom? Right here. Yep, that's see. it. See how they the look different? One. That's a big one? Yep. Big one. And the drones mate with the queen. So there's three kinds of bees in the hive. There is one queen, the workers, which are the girls, and the drones, which are the boys. So the bees you see foraging around the flowers and bringing back pollen and sipping nectar are the girl worker honey. bees. That's all honey. You see all you that, that honey hiding in there? Is it? <laughs> Good. Do you see what they're doing? Mm -hmm. They're running around trying to put nectar in the cells. Oh, look who we have visiting us. Mr. Yellow Jacket or Mrs. Yellow Jacket is on my finger. Oh, there we go. Whoops. Now this is full of honey. And I'm looking for the queen. The way you know the queen is when her wings only come halfway down her back because her body is so long. And also you'll see lots of bees around her taking care of her. But I don't see her on this one. Do you guys think you see her there? Ooh, there's a worker bee. Yep, that is a worker bee. There's a worker bee. There was a boy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here is something neat. See this? Oh, there they are. They're holding hands and that's called festooning. And that is how they make their comb. So they hold hands and they excrete wax out of glands on the underside of them until they make that shape. What do you think that honey tastes like? <laughs> do you think we're going to get to try some? So this is a comb we want to talk about because this is where they're raising their brood. And you see that on the bottom, I'm going to turn this so you can see. Um, actually, there's more on this side. Do you see the, the holes where there's caps on top of them on the bottom? Like there's a lid. That's brood. That's baby bees. Okay. Right here. See them on the bottom? The brown cells? Oh, uh, yeah. No, not that bottom. But the, on the top. Oh, <laughs> I have it oh, turned upside yeah. down. If you turn it around, can you turn it around? Yeah. Point? So see these? The dark brown? I can't see. The dark brown? Almost like a lid on the cell. Do you see them where I'm pointing? The dark brown them. caps are baby bees in there. Aww. And the worker bees, some of them, their job is to take care of the baby bees in there. Can you see the brown cap? See right here and right here? The dark Show the one there. where his uh, head is in the cell, right there in the center. And he's, right she. Here. Yep, right here. Yeah, see, they're, they're. See? She's spitting, them. well, she's either feeding them or she's spitting nectar. She could be doing either one. Yeah, they're very, very busy. Notice, are they loud when you listen to them? They're really quiet. They're very quiet. quiet. They're so quiet. Loud. Ooh. Quiet. We have to be careful putting this one back down in there because it's a tight fit. Now they get a little more excited 
when you pull the frames out here, and if you guys want to carefully look, don't put your hand down, there's a lot more activity in the front. And you'll see these have a very different kind of a cell. And they... You see how they stick out? They stick out. I thought maybe I saw the queen for a second. Mm -mm. That's why I was quiet here. Do you, the, so those are drone cells. Those are the ones that the boys are in. I don't know if, if Mrs. Belli said that or not. You think that one? Yeah, those are drone cells. So they're different. Queens, or sorry, worker cells are flat. Drone cells are rounded like that. And they store this band of honey at the top so that they can easily feed those babies as they're growing. So when I put the hive back together, I'm really, really slow about it and very I'm careful. Like trying to get them off your hand. That's okay. You so when they, I know, you're right? Biting. And then I'm just going to use the tool to gently and see somebody's get out of there. Shoo. I can use you right here as I close this, give them a puff of smoke across okay. this line. Do you want me to hold the brush? Yep, that's good. They'll move. I don't really love brushes. I prefer to use just a handful of long grass. I think it's much gentler. Because no matter how many times you brush them, they're going to keep coming out. Can you just pull out my knife there mm -hmm. and hold the big bag open? And I'm going to hold this over the bag and I'm going to cut it and let it fall in and then we're going to seal it. Normally I'd be doing this with a bin and Sam will open the bin, I'll cut it, drop it in and he'll put the lid on. Ready? Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to cut right along the edge here. Good. Close it up and that's it. And then we're just going to put this right back down in there. And they'll take the rest that's dripping and they'll put it right in another cell. And we're just going to continue to move them closer. These guys really like honey. All right. I really like honey. You do? Okay. So, what did you guys learn today? Bees. What's your favorite thing about bees? Honey. Honey. How many bees do you think were in that hive? Thousands of them. Thousands? I think you're right. Can't see the queen yet. The right. queen is the girl. The queen is the mother of all the bees in the colony. Really? Yep. She's busy. She lays about 1,200 eggs a day, every day oh, of her yeah. life. A lot of eggs. And how long does your queen live? In the summertime, she, well, in, I'm sorry, not in the summertime. In the warmer climates, she'll live maybe as long as two years. And in the summertime, the bees live probably anywhere from two to six weeks. In the wintertime, they live longer because they don't leave the hive, so they stay in there. Who wants some honey? Me. <laughs> okay. All right, so I'm going to give you a piece, and you can stick the whole thing in your mouth. Have you guys eaten honeycomb before? No. Never? It's almost like gum, like chewing gum. So you chew on it, but that wax, you don't want to swallow Wyatt's it. Wyatt's oldest, so he gets to you go just first. just chew on it. So take a bite and just chew. Don't swallow the wax. When all the honey taste is gone, you can spit it out. Or you can chew the wax like gum. That's what yeah. I like to do. But you don't want to swallow that wax. Yep, don't swallow it like Miss Allie said. There you go. What do we think? Take a big bite. Is it good? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, Miss Allie's going to eat some with you. Yep. Thank you. Miss Angela, get over here and have some honey. Oh, you're dripping. What We're all dripping. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for visiting us at Winnie Palmer Nature Reserve, and I hope you enjoyed the look inside our hive. Get, get outside! outside.